So in this video, we're going to talk about how to stretch the muscles of your elbows and forearms, and how to concentrically and concentrically stretch your elbows. So to stretch the elbow flexors, we have three different. Are you videotaping me? Um, if we've got three different elbow flexors, so we have brachialis and brachioradialis, which are monoarticular. They only cross the elbow and they flex the elbow. So to stretch those, we're going to extend the elbow. And then we have our biceps brachii, which is a biarticular muscle. It crosses the elbow and the forearm. Uh, sorry, the elbow and the shoulder. It does shoulder flexion, elbow flexion, and supination. So in order to stretch the biceps brachii, we need to place those joints in the opposite position of the action. So we need to extend the shoulder, extend the elbow, and pronate the forearm, and that would be a nice biceps brachii stretch. To stretch the elbow extensors, the elbow extensor is our triceps, so that does elbow extension and shoulder extension. So to stretch it, we need to flex the elbow and flex the shoulder. So we need to, again, place those joints in the opposite position of their action. To stretch the forearm pronators, we need to supinate our forearm, and to stretch the forearm supinators, we need to pronate the forearm. So essentially we're following the same principle that in order to stretch a muscle, we need to place that muscle in the opposite of its action. All right, now we're going to talk about concentrically um, contracting muscles. So to concentrically contract, and we're, we're not talking about um, the use of cable columns or uh, therabands, we're just talking about the use of gravity and potentially additional weight, like a dumbbell. Um, so for the elbow flexors, to concentrically contract the elbow flexors, we would need to flex the elbow against gravity. So that's a concentric contraction of the elbow flexors. To do an eccentric contraction of the elbow flexors, you need to lower it back down. So you need to extend the elbow toward gravity. So this is concentric biceps, eccentric biceps. Concentric biceps, eccentric biceps. When we're lowering down and we're doing an eccentric bicep, it's eccentric because the body part is lowering toward the floor and the bicep is lengthening. While that's happening, the tricep is not contracting at all. If one of the muscles, if the agonist is, is um, concentrically or eccentrically contracting, the antagonist is not doing anything at all. They don't contract at the same time. Um, for the elbow extensors, to concentrically contract the elbow extensors, we would need to extend the elbow against gravity. So there are a couple of different ways we could do that. We could flex our shoulder all the way and then extend our elbow against gravity. That's concentric uh, elbow extension. We could bend over and we could extend our elbow. That's against gravity. That's concentric elbow extension. We could lie on our back and do those skull crusher things. Uh, that's concentric elbow extension. To do an eccentric elbow, uh, elbow extensors, we would need to flex the elbow toward the floor. So we're going to start up back here, right? So here we did our concentric elbow extensors, tricep. Eccentric is lowering it back down towards the floor. If we're bent over here, this was our concentric elbow extensors, moving away toward the floor, the muscle is shortening. Now lowering it back down toward the floor was our eccentric elbow extensors. Um, we'll talk about, okay, so forearm pronators. Now first we'll talk about the fact that it's important to note that when you're doing a concentric contraction, you're moving the body part away from the floor, and the motion of the joint is the same as the muscle's action. So for the elbow flexors, concentric, I'm moving away from the floor, and elbow flexion is happening. For um, elbow extensors, I'm moving concentric, I'm moving away from the floor, and elbow extension is happening. For eccentric, you're moving toward the floor, and it's the opposite of the action. So eccentric biceps, I'm moving toward the floor, and even though it's the bicep that's contracting, eccentrically, elbow extension is happening, the opposite of its action. For tricep, or elbow extensors, concentric was away from the floor. Now eccentric, I'm going toward the floor, and elbow flexion is happening, the opposite of the action of the triceps. So if we talk about um, the pronators, forearm pronators. Um, in order to concentrically contract the pronators, we need to pronate against gravity. So we start in, a, in full supination, and 
when we come to neutral. That's the only part that's against gravity. So this is concentric pronators. To do eccentric pronators, we lower back toward the floor, toward supination. Because remember, the resulting motion during an eccentric contraction is the opposite of its action. So concentric pronators move toward pronation. Eccentric pronator, pronators move toward supination. Concentric pronators, eccentric pronators. Um, and then supinators. In order to concentrically contract the supinators, we start in full pronation and we supinate up to neutral because that's the part that's going against gravity or away from the floor. So from here to here, I'm doing concentric forearm supinators. And then when I lower it back down, it's eccentric supinators. Concentric supination, supinators, eccentric supinators. Concentric supinators, eccentric supinators. And the same principles all apply. When I'm doing it concentrically, I'm supinating. When I'm doing it eccentrically, I'm moving toward pronation, toward the opposite. So if we look at the full range here, from full supination to neutral is concentric pronators, and from here down is eccentric supinators. And then from here up is concentric supinators, and then eccentric pronators. Okay, we're done.